again we're all together for one reason or another in Brussels. My name is Helen Conifrey. I'm chair of USHU, Unity and Solidarity Outside the EU. I'm also an elected member of the Outside the EU Staff Committee and I'm based at the delegation in Paraguay. Hello, my name is Kyle Shosh, uh, also USHU member and uh, elected CLPH member uh, since three years. Thank you for your uh, support. I'm also elected uh, delegation staff representatives and uh, I pass this word for Sanir. I'm Sunil Kumar, I'm based out of uh, India delegation. I'm a local agent uh, and I'm a member of the CLPHU. I'm an USHU member, uh, which is the most successful uh, union for trade union for staff and delegations. And uh, I was a staff representative in the delegation for almost 10 years. My name is Alessandro Liamine, I am uh, a contract agent. I work uh, in the delegation of uh, Uzbekistan right now. It is already some 10 years that I am dealing with uh, staff representation issues. It's quite already a solid time. I think I will die dealing <laughs> with uh, the different issues uh, related to delegation staff. But uh, I, I like it by now because it is the only way to make uh, things uh, better for all of us and notably for staff in delegations and don't forget we are the only one who work exclusively for staff in delegations, the only one. Hi, I'm Eyal, Eyal Imbar from Tel Aviv, I'm a local agent for over 20 years. Most of these years I've been a staff representative. I started because nobody wanted the job and then I was elected and elected and I'm still a um, staff representative in Tel Aviv. Right. It was a great idea to join a union, uh, the trade union that is actually representing only people in delegations, doesn't have any interest in headquarters, doesn't take orders from other trade unions in headquarters, and that's the reason why I joined the uh, USHU, and uh, this is, I managed to be an alternate member the last time, and now I'm a full member of uh, USHU, taking part in the CLPHU. And I think we're doing a very good job here uh, defending staff. Uh, there are many I would say issues which are inflicted on the staff recently from the framework rules to the salary method changes etc etc and you need us and we need you uh, to continue working for staff at delegations on these very important matters. I mean I think similar to you Ayal and maybe some of the others as well I mean I used to be a member of another trade union yeah. but back in 2008 I was really dissatisfied and discontent with the way delegation colleagues were being represented at headquarters and this wasn't because the other trade unions were deliberately dismissive of us, they just simply did not understand how delegations function. So again, USHU is really quite unique because our members are working in delegations and they know the contacts really well and they're better placed to, to represent you, whether it's a local agent, right. a temporary agent, a contract agent or officials, of course. May I just say for our experience in Tel Aviv, I mean, before USHU, actually we didn't know whom to contact in Brussels, who can help us in Brussels? to do something besides ourselves in the delegation. There was no address, no, no phone call, as Henry Kissinger was saying, when I want to call Europe, who do I call? When I wanted to call Absolutely. Brussels, whom do they have to call? Now, I, you can call us, it's a big difference. Mm. And let's be honest, uh, the uh, big uh, monsters uh, of the trade uh, unions uh, based in Brussels, uh, they don't really care about delegations. For them, it is uh, something far away. For them, uh, if they have to sacrifice something, uh, it would be delegations. Uh, as you know, during the last uh, uh, changes, amendments of the staff regulation, Annex 10 is exactly the part that has uh, been uh, uh, suffering most. Uh, if we leave uh, our destiny to colleagues in the HQ, Absolutely. we are finished. Yeah. So it was precisely for this reason, this reason as uh, we discussed already, uh, that we created uh, USHU 10 years back. And uh, exclusively uh, to a great extent deal with the uh, issues pertaining to staff and delegations, yeah. whether it's officials, contract agents, local agents. Or, uh, I mean, I think it's really reflected in the debates that we have now within the framework of social dialogue, where the quality of the debate, the bar has been raised much, much higher. And it's much more credible when we have people like Alessandro debating on behalf of contract agents. He's based in a delegation. He understands what the limitations are, what the opportunities are, for example, in relation to the mobility decision 
or the new general implementing provisions for contract agents. Ayan Sunil, on behalf of local agents, you've accumulated a lot of experience and you know what the reality is of being a local agent in a delegation. And something that both Ali and Ayan mentioned, which is very important, being a staff representative or a trade union activist isn't a nine to five job, it's a 24 seven. We are contacted any time of the day at the weekend and we're there to provide you with a reply. Hopefully we can give you useful advice. And if we can't, we will certainly put you in contact with the person who can. So we are working as a team. I forgot to mention that I'm contract agent. Why I forgot to mention? Because we really, for USHU and the CLPHU, all contract agent, local agent, uh, officials working as a team for protecting the rights of the staff, uh, OE, all category staff in delegation. So don't forget, vote, vote for, for USHU! USHU.